What's up, people? Just tune in and tune in to another episode of That I'm Begging. Starring your boy, the one and only, Mr. Harvey G. Um, I just want to say word up. Thank you to everybody subscribing. I, always, I know I always start off by saying that. And I hope everybody's having or had a good week. Having a good weekend and just living life good. And it sounds good. It sounds good. But today I'm... I'm kind of getting into something that I've done already. I've done before. I haven't done the sandwich, but remember I said when I did that hot honey barbecue that um, Carl's Jr. You can tell by the thumbnail that's what it is. It's a Carl's Jr. joint again. So I was rolling through, and I was out and about, and people might see too. I'm I'm not trying to take off from that, but you know what I mean. I've been kind of hidden some spots and stuff like that so i might have some some not merch but just uh just uh finds and stuff like that i might have that up on like a web my website or on my instagram or my facebook so but i was out and you know running around doing things taking care of business you get hungry and you could tell i got i got hungry and i'm, I'm freaking starving right now so this is breakfast, but unbegging. I'm unbegging these Carl's Jr. joints. It's actually I got a breakfast. It's a it's 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 a part of the hot honey joint I did. So let's check it out what I got in the bag. Uh, as usual, Carl's Jr. Regular. Whoa, I'm feeling something. Okay, there's one sandwich I got. And there's two sandwiches I got. Hmm. And then this is a... Oh. That's what they gave me with it. The hot honey sauce. So let's check it out. Hmm. Look, I found a Chris Cup fry. That was nice as whoever had their stuff in the bag. <laughs> Mm. All right, so let's put that bag to the side. So this, they're both new. I'm gonna assume, I don't know which one is which, but I'm opening both. Okay, they got the chicken, the chicken sticker. Oh, this is a biscuit, and it seems to have already have some. Have some of that honey on it, I think. There's a little bit on there. Biscuits falling apart. Malfunction. Oh, man. Okay. And this, this is the one. This is the one I was looking at. Okay, look at that. That's the waffle one. But it seems like it has sauce on it already. But they gave me a dipping sauce. Which I probably won't use on anything like this right now. But this is weird. Like the, this is the, that's the waffle. Very strange. And then let's see, that was the top. That's the bottom waffle. Okay. And it seems like every time the waffle's good. Every time you order the chicken or anything like that, it automatically, like, you have to wait. So that's good because that, that means they're making it fresh so let's try this waffle with the chicken oh wait it's that whole thing savory and sweet
Mm. It's not bad though. That's not bad. It's got a strange combination. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of that right there. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna rebag that one. And I and and just to be honest, Carl's Jr., these things are five dollars a piece. And I know with inflation and the way everything's going in the world right now, that you know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see more prices going up on little things that you didn't even expect. Razors are gonna go up three dollars. You're gonna be paying for something to be like, holy cow. Did I really just pay this much for that? But let's try this biscuit. The biscuit feels better and the chicken feels different. I think the biscuit has like less no like like you taste the biscuit more than you would this you're more emphasized on the chicken because the waffle's so thin and on this the the biscuit's kind of more dense so then when you bite into it it kind of takes your mind off of the chicken that's weird how two things could be this the difference like that but i don't know Like I said, pretty much five dollars a piece on these. One five dollars for the waffle sandwich, five dollars for the biscuit sandwich. Is it worth it? Like I said, if if you like chicken and you like chicken and biscuits and stuff like that, then definitely, definitely jump on it. If you like that stuff, you know, it's not like um, I don't know, I don't really like McDonald's that much either. And I know you get those like two for four or something like that. And um, one one that I should try with you guys is Wendy's. Wendy's has a good, like, breakfast sandwich, too, I think. Which I definitely will share one day with you guys. Fair warning. Um, <laughs> no, but overall, the biscuit one is ten times better than the waffle one. The waffle's cheap, falls apart. Kind of garbage. The biscuit's good. So I'm going to finish this biscuit up. And, he, you know, this, the chicken sandwich was all right, too. So it, it worked out all pretty good. So they're all good except the waffle. Waffle, no. Maybe if it was a thicker waffle, cool. But, like I said, have a good week. Enjoy your weekend, the rest of your weekend, whatever you're doing. Um, you know what I mean? Hit that like, subscribe. Hit that share. And, uh... Hey, thanks for watching. This has been another Hobby G production.